In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Minecraft Java Virtual Machine Error. Now, there's many reasons why you could be getting this issue. And the first thing I recommend that you guys do is open up the Minecraft Launcher, then go to the top menu and press on Installations. Once you're over here, please go ahead and select on the Minecraft installation that is giving you this error. All right, then you want to go to the right of it and you want to press on these three dots. Then you want to go ahead and select on Edit, just like so. Then you want to go ahead and press on More Options. From here, please go ahead and locate the section that says JVM arguments. And you will notice that the first term will say something along the lines of X, M, X, and then 2G. So that is the default value. Now, the 2G represents the amount of RAM that Minecraft is actually using in order to run. So 2G will represent 2 gigabytes. You want to make sure that you don't overestimate it. So let's say your system only has 8 gigabytes of RAM and you try putting like 32. That is going to cause the Java Virtual Machine error. So you want to make sure you don't overestimate it. Make sure that you actually put it to the correct amount of RAM. So my PC has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm just going to go ahead and select on 16. And that is really important because if I were to set this to 32, then I could experience that issue. And then all you want to do is you want to press on save. All right. But if that is still not working for you, then what we can do is we can go ahead and manipulate our PC files because Java actually could be corrupted. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix it. So you want to open the search bar right over here. Then you want to go ahead and type in system just like so. Then go ahead and press on open. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and you want to scroll down until you see the about section just like so. Then you want to go ahead and select on this option that says advanced system settings. So please go ahead and select on that. All right, then you're going to get a pop up that looks like this. It is going to say like system properties and stuff. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on environment variables just like this. OK, once you're over here in the environment variable section, go ahead and select on this new button right over here where it says system variables. Then where it says variable name, please go ahead and enter this in underscore Java in all capital letters. Make sure that they're capital. Then another underscore and then options just like so. Now, where it says variable value, you want to go ahead and type this in. So uh, line, then capital X, then lowercase m, X, and then 512, and then M. I'm going to leave this in the description and also put it on the screen right now so you guys can go ahead and easily copy and paste it. But this is the variable name and the variable value you want to have. Then you want to go ahead and press on OK. All right, then once you're done with that, go ahead and press on OK. Then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of system properties and then close out of your settings. OK, the next thing you want to do is you want to open the search bar and you want to type in CMD to open up the command prompt and you want to go ahead and run it as administrator. So please go ahead and select on that option, then go ahead and press on yes. And then there you go. You should now see the command prompt window. OK, so the first thing you want to do is you want to type in IP config and then slash flush DNS just like so. Then go ahead and enter that in. Then afterwards, you want to type in IP config and then slash renew just like so. And then there you go. OK, and lastly, you want to type in GP update just like so. Then go ahead and press on enter. OK, and then once the computer policy update has been completed successfully, what you want to do is you want to close out of the Minecraft launcher and then you want to restart your PC and then go ahead and try again and see if that did fix the issue. If you guys found this video helpful, consider checking out our partners over at Symbol Game Hosting. Symbol Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24-7 unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. The best part about Symbol Game Hosting is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your Minecraft server. You can make it Java only, Bedrock only, crossplay, etc. You can also add mods, mod packs, and plugins with a click of a single button. They have dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support where a Minecraft server expert can walk you through any issues that you may encounter. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you later, French fries.